Libra, welcome to you. This is your tarot reading for the month of November. I hope, coming from the mountains of Java, I've, I've had my problems with the UK passport office and with health restrictions, but hopefully I'll be back in the mountains by the time this reading comes out. And enough about me. I really hope that you get something useful from this, that you find it a useful reading. Libra, <clears throat> this is a reading of change. I believe the change is to be positive, um, but they might not always seem pleasant during the month of November. If we look at the um, central card there, that's the Wheel of Fortune. That is everything changing. That's a, a cycle coming to an end, a new one about to begin. It's normally associated with luck. It's a lovely card to have here. A lovely card to have here. So some of those cards which might seem a little bit negative, I think we have to reflect that everything is for the best. Now one of the cards that isn't necessarily that positive is your past energy. And that's the Seven of Cups. I mean, it's not necessarily bad, but it's many opportunities. So you could look at that as good. But not all of those opportunities are what they seem. Not all would be welcome. And we then have the Knight of Cups. So was this a love that came into your life and it didn't work out? Uh, because the Knight is a fool for love. I mean, he's a great, he's a great person. He really is. But he's a bit of a fool for love. And I get the impression maybe you've burnt, been burnt in love in the past. Your future energy is the Eight of Wands, and that's you finding, well, getting your mojo back, uh, re recognising your direction and going off in it with, with a degree of clarity. Yeah. And the energy impacting on the outcome is the Five of Pentacles, the card of poverty. It could simply feeling as though you've got no friends. So, you know, if you lost a love, Maybe that was it, but I, I, I think it is about actually not having money. Fe at least the feeling of not having money. Now, what would change the outcome is you moving on. And you do need to move on because we've got the Wheel of Fortune. In fact, I think you're going to move on, whatever. But this card suggests that you should dump some baggage as well. And that would change the outcome. Now, the outcome isn't a bad outcome. But I think the poverty pushes you into going out and looking for money. Maybe even acquiring a new skill. Maybe new money is even coming to you because the Wheel of Fortune does suggest good things. Now clearly I'm going to have to look at these in a lot more detail. But if it's having resonance, if you can like it, if you can make a comment, if you can subscribe to me and hit the bell so you get future notifications, it helps me immensely. So what I'd like to do now, Libra, is thank you so much in anticipation of you doing that little thing for me. You may well be asking, why from Java? What's important about tarot from Java? And the truth is, there is nothing so important about tarot from Java. Simply that here in Java, we have many different spirits who will come to help in, in your tarot reading. It'll probably put a different reflection on things. For example, the spirits here are less likely to be concerned about love and finances, despite people in Java being every bit as interested in these things as the rest of us. But maybe the spirits are trying to tell us something else. Now I'll be using probably two decks, but out of three decks. So the first deck is Taro Nusant Tara. The second deck is the Steampunk deck. And the third deck is the Light Visions Taro. Um, Taro Nusantara is actually a new one to me, which, which I love. Whereas the Light Visions, um, I've struggled with as a result of the rendering. Um, 
although I, I think I'll grow into it, I, I will keep using it and coming back to it. You can see on all of them, I'm using quite a lot of uh, salt, and that's to clear the energy and the spirits from them. Something that I do fairly regularly with my tarot. And I also, you'll see a number of gym at there that I use, um, just to bring a good energy to the tarot um, and to my reading. Perhaps the most important mystical object we use in Java is the Chris, the curly knife that you can see that I've placed across both decks. Chris are very important for bringing the spirits to work on any object here in Java. I call on the spirits of the mountain to assist me in shuffling the cards, in selecting the right cards and interpreting them correctly for Libra for November 2022. Libra, the energy running throughout this and what this is all about is the Wheel of Fortune, which is a lovely card to have placed here. It should mean good luck to you. It's certainly probably the end of a karmic cycle, the beginning of a new karmic cycle. Um, as I say, it, it, it normally means good luck. It normally means that you've learned some lessons. It's very much about... Life cycles, a turning point. Yeah, this reading is all about your destiny. I mean, let's face it, all reading should be about your destiny. But this coming here is, is very profound. So this means it's an extremely important reading to you. You look at it, well, there's a wheel there. I don't know what all those creatures really mean. Uh, the, the lettering in it is ancient Javanese, but... Yeah, it feels karmic. It feels like it's about destiny. This is important. This is very important. And I need to bear that in mind as I look at each of the other energies or cards, if you like. Now, in your recent past, we have the Seven of Cups. It's, it's not necessarily a bad card. It's about multiple opportunities. Uh, but not all of those opportunities are good opportunities. Now, given the next card, I, I think this was probably about love. I mean, it could be about anything, but, you know, it was probably about love. And I think a love didn't work out. It, it wasn't what you thought it was. You look at the card. Well, there are the seven cups. There are the choices to make. And you'd probably be very happy at a horseshoe wreath coming out of a... Uh, a cup. You'd probably be very happy with a pagoda. There's one with a, a, a cloth over it, so you don't know what's in it. And there's one with a snake out coming out of it, which you certainly wouldn't be happy with. So I get the feeling you've made a choice, and the choice didn't work out. I, I feel it's love, although it could be about jobs or business or finance, because there's another card later that suggests there's a problem with those. So, I'm not fully certain what it is. You probably know better than me, but you made a bad choice in the past, I, I believe. Now, what makes me think that choice was about love is your current energy is the Knight of Cups. Now, let me reassure you, he's a lovely, lovely knight. He's a lovely knight. You look at him, he's on that beautiful horse, he's dressed wonderfully, he's got that cup in his hand, which is the cup of love. And he's somebody that loves everybody, and everybody loves him. Oh, of course, that we did have the Seven of Cups there, which was multiple opportunities. Maybe you played around a little. Maybe you did. Um, I'm not certain that that was a bad thing to do, but it's a possibility. He's a fool for love, though. He gets... He gets he, gets into relationships that he shouldn't and I think that's more likely what this card is telling us. Again, you'll know better than me, but that, that's how it feels to me at this moment in time. Now the future energy I think is, is a positive card. It's the Eight of Wands. This suggests that you've Sorted your mind out, sorted out what you need to be doing, and you're going at it with some vigour. In fact, you've got all your ducks in a row. You look at it, all of those ones are going in the same direction, 
with a degree of pace. So this feels like somebody that's got their mojo back, if you ask me. So, you know, although, as I said, there was a few negative cards, and this is all about change, it's all about destiny, it's all about life choices, I also said there was luck in it. And I, I, I think that, yeah, you do go through it this month, but you emerge out of it really knowing yourself and knowing what you want. And that's what this card is telling us. The energy that impacts on the outcome is the Five of Pentacles, which I'd associate, well, I call it the card of poverty. It could be simply the loss of that relationship and you feeling like you've no friends. But no, I, I, I think you're feeling, yeah, it might only be a feeling of a loss of money. Uh, but it's quite a psychological card. It's, it's, it's a poverty mentality, if you like. And if you stick with that, then you will achieve poverty. And you look at the card, it looks bleak, doesn't it? It looks bleak. I don't know if that's her grandfather who's the cripple with her. But, you know, they're walking in front of that chapel with a lovely stained glass window and the lights coming through it. So there's always hope. There's always hope. And, you know, I think this whole reading's one of hope. So uh, this is a part of the turmoils you're going to go through in November. But I be really do believe you come out of them. Is this related to the wrong choice, the Seven of Cups? Almost certainly. Is that related to love? It could be. It could simply be that the night you were a little over-trusting. Could be. Could be. So... Maybe it's about business. I mean, there's more... So no, no, no. It feels like love and money, you know? <laughs> it really does. Now, the card that would change the outcome is the Six of Swords. It is Six, yes, yeah, Six of Swords. It's about you moving on and dumping baggage. You look at it, they're in the boat. They're going from one side of the lake to the other side... And they, they'll have got some baggage in that, in that canoe and they have to dump it in the middle of the lake. And that's what you're being asked to do. Now, this changes the outcome. And given that the outcome I don't see as a bad outcome, I think how it changes it, and I don't see, you know, I, I, I don't see the reading as a bad reading. I think what it's really telling us is that if you can move on and dump the baggage quicker, uh, then... You can you can enjoy the benefits that are going to come to you much quicker. You can move on. Well, <laughs> if you move on, you can move on much quicker. What is what a stupid thing to say. But yeah, I I I, I think you're being the offered the opportunity to really move a lot quicker on this if you can just dump the baggage. Is this about that that love? It feeling like love, isn't it? Whatever, it's dumping the baggage of what's ever put you into poverty. That's almost almost certain. Almost certain. Um, yeah. Yeah. You, I think you need to move on, whatever. Whatever. And we now have the Page of Pentacles, which I'd associate you, with you going and looking for money, which completely fits with that feeling of poverty doesn't it you're going out and looking for new money could be about you get, getting a new skill maybe you need a new skill to get new money or it could be about new money coming to you and remembering that we've got the wheel of fortune which suggests good luck maybe m money does come to you so you know if you move on it's sort of suggesting you don't need to do this which I don't fully understand, but maybe it's saying if you move on, then you don't have this feeling of poverty and you're going to be okay anyway. Um, but I don't see this as a bad thing to be doing. You know, I mean, it's not as though you can either look for money or you can dump the baggage. I think if you do both, you know, why not? Things are good. But let's get a bit of clarity. Let's get a bit of clarity.
I seek clarity on this Five of Pentacles, this poverty card, as I call it. And the first card we get is the Strength card. Now, that's completely in fitting with my feelings that um, there's real hope in this. There really is. You know, I, I, I refuse to see this as a bad reading. So it's saying you're strong that you can get through this. The next card is the poverty card again, the five of pentacles. So it's saying, we did tell you, you know, we, we told you what it was about. Why, why are you asking for clarity? And the final card is the death card, endings. So something came to an end. So was this a relationship that came to an end? Was it a job? Was it a business? We still don't know, although that knight, that knight of cups does suggest to me it's a relationship ended and it made you feel like you were in poverty. I mean, you know, maybe you were living together, maybe you were married, and you're no longer splitting the bills, you know, there's long, no longer two incomes. So maybe it's something like that, you know. I, I, I just don't get too bad a feeling from this poverty card. And, you know, the, the, um, the Wheel of Fortune is saying, changes, move on, destiny... Uh, the thing that would offset the the um, or the opposite to this this uh, this this poverty card is you moving on and dumping baggage. So you know, I, I, I get the impression that this has to happen. Yeah, the first card of clarity on this poverty card was the strength card. And this is saying to me that you have a wonderful inner strength. You're not going to let this poverty, even though it might be quite dramatic, it might happen very quickly, put you into a fuss. Um, but, you know, it's something you get over because you've got this wonderful inner strength. And if you look at the card, it's not it's the girl who's got the strength, not the lion. She's taken the, the thorn out of the lion's paw. And um, uh, the lion will always look after her as a result. That that's but she had the bravery to do that. Now I, I for some reason I've not been able to send any post out of Indonesia for some four years now. Now, I, I have my theories about what's behind it. Um, and, and to be honest, they're, they're com it's, it's commercial. You know, it's commercial. But, the, you know, the, the Indonesian post office, Cantor Post, have purposely picked on Westerners to say they're not allowed to post anything. And I had to post something to my accountant a month or so ago and they ran me around and ran me around and it was obvious they weren't going to do it, you know. And I spent a day and a half trying to post something that was urgent to my accountant. And in the end I managed to courier it at a cost of, of about $75, just for a letter, $75 from Indonesia to England. And I, I was very, very upset. And I mean, I'm still upset. I'm upset at not being able to post things because surely that's a human right. But, you know, I'm strong. I'm not letting it get to me. It's that sort of a thing. So even though it's a major thing not being able to use the post office, ah, you get over it. You're strong. You're strong. You put it into context. Remember, we're clarifying the poverty card, the five of pentacles, and here we have another five of pentacles. This time she's with what I assume is her son. This time the the uh, snow is falling, which I never like to see because we never have it in Indonesia. And this time the stained glass window is absolutely beautiful. So, you know, the, there's more hope to it. But what it's saying is, no, you are, it is going to be poverty. I'm pretty certain it's poverty. You're going to feel like that. But as I say, you're strong. You are going to get over it. It's something that I think has needed to happen to you. So don't despair about it. Don't despair about it, Libra.
And now we have the death card. Now the death card is confirming poverty. So an ending has brought about this poverty. It was probably sudden. It was probably abrupt. It was probably something that's very painful. Is it an ending to a marriage? A relationship? It could be an ending of a job. An ending of a business. Um, we're still not entirely certain if it is about love or business or jobs but does it matter does it matter because this is more about your feelings more about your destiny and how you overcome it it's the death card i mean it could even be a death couldn't it it could be a death of someone you lived with a death of a loved one and that immediately makes you feel oh my god you know maybe maybe you were married to somebody and they were the breadwinner you say, what am I going to do? Although there's no other indication that that's the case. Um, and, you know, I think you're going to land on your feet when you really assess things. But this death has to come. It has to come. You have to move on, as I keep saying. So don't worry too much about it. I, I think we can summarise, even though we're not certain if this is about relationships. I, well, it's about relationships and money to be perfectly frank. So, yeah, we can summarise for you. Libra, you could see November as a rather depressing month. Uh, but the changes in November are necessary and you're going to emerge out of it much better. Um, it's destiny, it's karma, it's fate. It's got to happen. So whether you like it or not, you have to accept it. You had some choices in the past. I think they were about love. They, they might have been about jobs. They might have been about business. But I think they were about love. Um, you might even have been playing the field a bit in love. But whatever, um, I, I think something comes to an end because you made a bad choice. Something comes to an end and it's not a pleasant ending for you. Indeed, it makes you feel like you're in poverty. It might simply be a just immediate feeling like, oh, I've lost... We had dual income, you know, you were living with someone, I had dual income, what am I going to do? Um, uh, but it, it does it does affect you, it definitely affect, it affects you mentally, you know. It's this feeling that I've got to do something. But, you know, you're strong, you, you do do something. You do do something. You go out looking for more money and I believe you're going to find it, you're going to be lucky. Because you're going to emerge out of this knowing what you need to do, how to do it, and with a vigour and pace that says you, you know your direction, you know what you need to be doing now. And maybe, you know, you've spent your life making bad choices, possibly in love, and this is saying to you, well, think of yourself a bit more. Think about money, think about finances, and you're going to be all right. Now... There's a shortcut on offer to you, and I think you should take it. And that shortcut is to move on and dump the baggage. So whatever it is that's happened, because it clearly, clearly does affect you, clearly is unpleasant, there's definitely an ending. But if you don't dwell on it, and you dump the baggage from it, then you can, you know, if you move on, you can move on much quicker. I've said that twice, but it's just coming to me. If you move on, you can move on much quicker. So, yeah, move on in your mind and your life will move on. Because this isn't a bad reading. It's about your destiny. And the sooner you understand that, the better. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed Tarot from Java as an addition to my channel, The Magic of Java. Please take a look at the other the other uh, videos that I have on this channel about magic from Java, and I hope that you will be become a subscriber. 
Now, if you want to find, hear your next tarot reading, hit the button and that will inform you of when I publish new, um, new readings. I'm certainly going to do a reading for every month, but maybe I will try them a bit more frequently, say a mid-month reading and maybe also some special readings. But above all, thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you. And enjoy Java.